I have. So, yo, man, we have today on the podcast. Now, this this is this is this is this is a professional setup right here. We've both got microphones, guys. If you're watching this, you know um, when we usually do this podcast, there's no mic, but we've both come prepared. That YouTube life, we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah. But we have Grace and Tanner today. The Grace. Hello, man. What are you yes, saying? Man? Hello, man. I'm good, man. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing well, man. Just um. You know, trying to stay consistent, trying to stay disciplined, you know, just, yeah, yeah. you know, got a lot of stuff planned, but, you know, this is your podcast. He you wanted to get you on, man. So enough about me, man. I wanted to talk to you about what you've been doing, obviously, you know, I I, um, I came across you actually by um, a mutual friend, you know, Just Nick and um, Sebastian. Just Nick. And um, yeah, man, yeah. I remember we were shooting for the last drop. This device has definitely called you up and I was like, you know, this guy seems legit. I'll listen to some of his music. I'll see what mm. I've heard you, man. And, you know, literally, bruv, it seems like you're going in, man. So I wanted to talk to you about how, you know, your music career started, YouTube, um, you know, yeah. c- collaborations you've done. But we'll start with the music, man. So wh- how did this all begin? How did this all begin? All right. So music, uh, this, I don't really have much of a story for music. Do you get me? Like, One day I was just, so it's 2019 around March, I'd say. I was like just sitting in my room and I I was doing um, GCSEs during this time, obviously. Nice. So last year of year 11. And um, I was just sitting around, I was like, what am I really going to do after this is over? Like school has really just been my life. Like, you know, for for like, you know, for this time, right? And I thought everyone's doing stuff. Like everyone's got businesses, they're doing whatever they want to do. And I'm just sitting here, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sad, you know, I'm not, I'm just battling with my anxiety and stuff and doing nothing. So I thought, yo, let's put it to use somehow. And I thought, let me make music. I can sing, you know, I have, I have a way with words. So why not? And yeah, and that was around March. And then in April, I made my Instagram account, made my first song in the studio. It doesn't exist anymore. It's a, <laughs> yeah, that song doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. But um yeah then I made an album it was supposed to be an EP but at the time I wasn't really experienced so I didn't know that to like for it to be an EP it has to have six songs under 30 minutes yeah but I ended up putting seven songs and that made it an album so yeah yeah. I do have a story about 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 like the, the albums and stuff later later on in the story but yeah and then I made an album in the same studio. I used to record at my secondary school music studio because I did music GCSE. So I was allowed to go in, record whatever I needed to, whatever I wanted to. Mm-hmm. So I did that with my producer, Vich MK. He's been with me from the start, produced my first song, my first album, along with another producer, Ravi. They've both been with me from the start. And I owe literally everything to them because we've basically been building ourselves up from like nothing to where we are now and hopefully we can just take off together and yeah 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 and that's really how it started to be honest there's not really much to it yeah that's crazy man so um i wanted to talk to you about something you said um uh, when you're explaining how you got into music um you know you said you obviously saw people start their own businesses and stuff i know for creatives because obviously seventh tier we clove creatives like people are going to be watching this and they may be in the same position you were coming out of gcc is like what am i doing and stuff um yeah why why did you feel the need to do something because there's i feel like there's two sets of people there's um people like you who think okay i need to do something here school's finishing i'm going to college um um, I want to I wanna do something with my life. I have a passion. And there's some people who won't do that, who will just drift through life. What made you actually be the, 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 the latter and be the person who was like, okay, nah, 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 nah. I'm not just going to drift through life. I'm not just going to, you know, do nothing. I actually want to do something. How, how did you become that person? I, I think it's just a case of, like, so I used to do YouTube. A long time ago when I was younger and that used to be my thing you know I used to do that and then I kind of quit and I gave up on it because I didn't think it was going to go anywhere which is not it's not really a good mindset to have 
but obviously I grew out of that and I you know when I started music I was like this is my new thing now and it's a thing where I didn't want to feel like I was you know being left behind in any way like obviously people are doing stuff like I go college I still go college obviously yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, people go college they do all of that but it just didn't seem like it was enough to me I want to I want to chase things I want to be someone be known for something do you know what I mean like just drifting through school doing all of that you know what people want you to do it's just it's long and it's kind of boring like I don't want to live my life like that I want to have opportunities to do other things make my life exciting do you know what I mean yeah and I'm a creative person so you know I like meeting other creative people you know bouncing ideas off of each other that that I love that yeah that's amazing man that's amazing and um man I think a lot of people can relate to you because one thing I'm realizing right like it's actually really hard like it's this 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 whole game about being a creative in all different aspects music business art anything right it's really hard because um yeah a lot of the times you're seen as someone who's not a professional you know like a musician who you know isn't too big you are automatically seen as a person who oh, it's just a it's just a hobby it's not a serious thing whereas someone who maybe works a job in recruitment they're automatically seen as more respectable more more um more more professional was that ever something that put you off like did you ever think oh damn music is something I want to do but I know it's going to take a long time to be seen as a professional artist because that's the thing as well taking the creative uh side of yourself and making it as a as an income it takes a long time it takes a really really long time so how did you feel how did you feel you know how did you feel in terms of um being seen from other people in the sense of you know um I'm probably not going to be seen as a professional musician for the next you know five to ten years and how does it feel knowing that it could take years to to get where you want to get to you know, this is actually a good question because um, I think I thought about this like a couple months ago when I was like rebranding myself and deciding what I want to like show people. So um, you probably know him, you know, Tom did it. So he stepped into the scene as an artist not that long ago, I think a year ago. He's been in the scene for a year yeah. as an artist and he just instantly popped off, you know, hella streams, hella attention, you know? And I feel like that's the thing where it was like, damn, he can do that in a year. What have I been doing for the last two years? Like, that's crazy. Wow. Like, I haven't really done anything. But it's a thing where it's like, time will tell. Like, if, if I end up getting exposure in two, three years, then it's like, that's when I was meant to get exposure. I'm not going to rush anything. And if people see me in a certain way, like, oh, you're not going to, do this or be professional a professional recording artist or anything like that then it's like that's you in it I'm just trusting in my process and what I gotta do and that's the thing is with that that's not even something I learned myself someone had to tell me you gotta trust in the process you can't be getting mad because this guy's doing this you do you bro you know what I mean you gotta do you like your time will come do you know what I mean yeah man that's so important right here because whoever's watching this right now bruv listen to what he's just said and me me even right that's that's a big encourage, encouragement uh you know for myself because recently man um this is a podcast where by the way this is this is free speech so it's not like i'm interviewing you and um you know yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be just like a conversation right and and that's what i wanted to add in recently i've been feeling like that man recently i've really been feeling like um damn some people have started a year or six months and they're already, you know, surpassing me. And, um, you know, it, it's hard because you, you think, you know, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? And, you know, social media yeah. is, is a dangerous thing. And that's something I think we should delve into, right? You know, with Tom did it, right? I haven't met the guy. Um, he seems like a calm person. It seems like he really puts a lot of work into his 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 craft. But um, social media, yeah, how does yeah. it how does it feel being a musician? Because obviously... Being a musician is 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 a really saturated thing. A lot of people are musicians, right? How does it feel seeing someone yeah. who has done maybe half the amount of work as you just because they started later and they're 
you know, see, and they're getting better results. And this isn't a diss, I'm not dissing Tommy did it, you know, he's putting the work and stuff, but how did it feel just yeah, yeah. comparing yourself to someone who, you know, has maybe just blown up a lot quicker than you? How did that feel? Well, I mean, it, the way I see it, the reason he's ahead of me and he's like, he's new, right? And the reason he's ahead, the way I see it, is because he's put the work in way more than me. He's doing something I'm not doing, do you know what I mean? So I have full respect for this guy. Like I've, I've spoken to him. I've never met him. I've spoken to him. Great guy. Honestly, his energy is amazing as well. He's definitely put the work in. Just the type of person he is as well, all in general. Yeah, he deserves to be at the position where he is now. Apparently, he's even got major labels with their eyes on him as well. So, big up Tom did it. I can't lie. So, but I don't feel any like, what's the, I don't know the word. I'm not sure if it's jealousy or, any, or envy or anything because the way I see it, it's just, yeah, he deserves to be in that position because he worked. He's been, he's been in the scene as a producer and a, a, an engineer for a while. And he stepped in as an artist and now he's doing his thing, like respect, big up. But I don't feel any envy or anything. He deserves to be where he is. That's that's amazing, man. That's actually amazing because um, a lot of people, a lot of people could take the other side, the envy, and obviously they're not going to point it out blatantly because they don't want to be seen as the hater. But, you know, they could make small yeah. digs. And Tom did it. If you're watching this, big up, man. Respect. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. You know, and, and I, think, I think that's great because one thing I'm realising, right, with musicians, just meeting... Um, you know, Nick and um, talking to you, Sebastian, you know, Hendra, all of you guys. Um, one thing I'm realizing, you guys all support each other. You guys all support each other. You'll hop on yeah. features, you'll promote each other's stuff. You know, I always see Nick promoting your stuff, you vice versa with him, Sebastian. Um, how does it feel having a, a core group of people who you basically feel like you know, we're in it together, we're rising up together. Is that something that you think today creatives need? Do you think it's a lot harder to be the creative who's on their own, who hasn't really got anyone who's supporting them? Or do you think, and do you think it's a necessity to have that group of people who are maybe rising up with you? What do you think, man? I think there are some people that are doing this alone. They want to be completely independent. Like, fuck everyone. You like, forget everyone else. I don't need them. With me, last year especially, 2020, I said, whoever wants a feature, I'll give them a feature because I want to blow up with everyone. Like, if I blow up by myself and then I sign some BS that doesn't let me bring people along with me, like, you know, a, a fucking... Uh, what's that, bro? I literally said it a, a bit ago. Label deal. If I sign a label deal and I can't promote my friend's music and all of that, that's like, nah, I don't want to do that, like. I want to rise up with everyone and I will not sign anything like that until I know my people. So just Nick, Seb, uh, Ruben, if they're not up with me, those are like my main guys in the industry at the moment. If they're not up with me, then like, there's no point to any of this, in my opinion. If you don't rise up with a team then and you rise up by yourself, it's going to look pretty lonely at the top. You know what I mean? I don't want to be lonely at the top. That's long. Bro, that's amazing. Bro, the amount of people who would just be like, yo, I'm I've put the work in, I've done this on my own, I've I've I I I've you know I deserve this more than others, you know. Yeah. It's amazing that you say that because a lot of people now, man, when it comes to it, selfish. They're selfish, and especially in the industry where yep. cutthroat man, there's so many artists in the UK, there's so many artists in 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 the world. And, and with that being said, it's hard to make your way through it. So it's good to see that, you know, um, there's people like you who, you know, will rise up with other people. And that goes on to the next thing, right? So I know you started YouTube. You started YouTube. Yes. And bruv, I respect the promotion, man. Those messages that you yeah. sent to everyone, that's sick. That just shows that you really want it. You're going after it, man. You talked about yeah, on. being on YouTube and coming off right. Why come back? What, what's the return? I came back because uh, obviously I dropped my song Fidget with Nick and Sebastian. And um, yeah, it's not doing so well. And I thought, why is it not so doing so well? And I thought, damn, I don't really connect with my supporters like that, right? 
and I feel like I don't really know anyone that really supports me. So I started the YouTube thing as the Grey Santana. Now I used to be called something else, but I've started it now to just connect with the audience a bit more. I want to know what they want to see from me, what I should be pushing out, like, and also just the fact that I've rebranded myself and the fact that my music's about to switch up differently this year and people are not going to be expecting it. Uh, Cause last year I was doing all this American stuff and I, I started the year off with a American slash British, you know, UK type of thing. So with Fidget, the hook was American, but my verse was, you know, British and all of that. So yeah, I just, I wanted to do it just to connect with people more and get to know my supporters. Cause I'm like, I'm on the rise and I'm on like, I'm low right now. Like 1K followers are not that many supporters, but I want to get to know them, you know, connect with them because, you know, they, they're here. I might as well help. They might as well help me build what I've got. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I'm doing YouTube now. It's actually quite fun. I forgot how fun it was. My door keeps opening. <laughs> no worries, man. I can't do what you need to do, but bruv, um, yeah, man, I, that's sick. That's sick because, man... Um, it's hard to, it's hard to sort of, to sort of, um, see the, the, the followers, see the people who support, because obviously you don't know them all. 1K people, though that doesn't seem like a lot, that's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people that, you know, you potentially don't know. Obviously, yeah. you know some of them, but you, I'm assuming you don't know all of them. So that's a lot of people, man. And, and it's cool that, you know, you thought about, um, making a channel because one thing I've realized with you, Seb, and just Nick, you guys are professional. Like you guys are really independent artists. You guys are are. I'm I'm seeing you guys make all of these moves, you know, with channels. And although it sounds like a small thing, like making a YouTube channel, what is that? That's not really a big deal, but it is, because when you see real yeah. artists, and you guys are real artists, but you know, artists that are well known, like AJ Tracy, they all have their channels which they they upload their music videos to, and it's sick that you guys are doing the same thing, right? So in terms yeah. of the content, because I actually want to talk about um that your youtube channel in depth and what you're actually posting on there um your goal is obviously you know to connect to your your supporters right with the content then what sort of stuff are you are you doing on there so my plan with the channel is to just i'm an artist right and i think i said this in the video my latest video i said i'm an artist i'm not a youtuber so i want to like i think of in the outro, I said, I'm an artist, I'm not a YouTuber. I want to know what you guys want to see from me on this channel because, you know, this isn't what I do. And um, I, the content is just, I want it to always have something related to music because that's what I do. So obviously I did, a, my first video was a, uh, I think doing a draw hook on camera for the first time. And yeah, that went, that was pretty good. People liked that. Then my second video was a vlog with my boy Panda Not Bamboo, who's actually, he's doing pretty well right now. Very well, actually, on the scene. And he's got something coming soon. And we went to the studio. So I decided, yeah, I'm going to do a vlog. I want to do a vlog, you know, talk to the people, do whatever. But let's keep it music related as well. So we went to the studio. Then my video after that was, it was a latest trends, like remix type of thing. And I did that. So I think I'm always going to keep it music related. Uh, but here and there, I do want to like show a different side, not just music, you know. But as of right now, I'm just thinking the music thing, maybe. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Um, and it's, it's cool to, to see you doing a lot of collaborations, you know, like, bruv. Bruv, yeah. I want to be in people's YouTube videos, man. Hit me up if you need to, if you, if you do want to... <laughs> You want, 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 you know, seventh tier, whatever, in a video because uh, this is the thing. I'm trying to do the same thing as you, man. Like, one thing I've realized, yeah, and and, and um, <laughs> you're wearing it now, right? But Yarny clothing, Yarny clothing, man. Like, you know, it's, it's a thing where I love what they're doing, and uh, we could do it as so, well, you know, just supporting you know, all, all of your artists. And stuff. Hold on one second. No worries. Huh? <laughs> Go on, go on. You was talking about Yanni Cleven, yeah? Yeah. 
No worries, man. So I was saying how, like, um, yeah, no, the reason I want to be in these videos, right, is because I, I love what they're doing as well, like, um, communicating and and uh, supporting the artists. And, you know, we do it with the podcast as well, with the tier talks, but it's cool to always meet you guys in person, you know, and to really see what you guys are like in the flesh. And that's something I wanted to talk about, right, with your YouTube channel. Um, I've also seen that you have, uh, you did a little freestyle with, with Yanni Clothing, man. How was that? How did that go? That was, um, oh my God. Yes. Yeah, what, what, what's, what's up? That's a spray bottle. The spray bottle, is, it's not here. You I can't like so? it. Yeah, yeah. Can I have something? What do you want? Can I have a Later, do you know why? Because I'm, I'm doing something quite important right now. Can I get it like <laughs> No, no, because I'm doing something quite important but right can now. can I get it No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're understanding. Fecha porta. Fecha porta. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, anyways. <laughs> where was I? You're only clothing. Yeah. yeah no uh, cut this out. This is going to be cut out anyway, so it's cut. Oh, is it? For real? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Anyways. um, So, you're only clothing. Uh, yeah, so you're only clothing. Let's see. That was quite an experience. I can't lie. It was my first time performing a song in front of people that I didn't even know. Well, I've performed before, like, you know, for school stuff, because I used to do music. But um, that was, it was scary. That was, cr it was crazy. There wasn't that many people in the room, but um, first time performing a song of mine, it's like no one understands that I'm doing, LK. Mom said you have it. Have what? The spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to put on a hat. No, I do not have it. It's not here. She said it was on your table. It, but as you can see on my table, it's not even here. It's literally not here. Check in your drawer. Why would it be in my drawer? It's not here, man. Because you like to keep it inside of your drawers. There, exactly. there you go. Don't come back. <laughs> right, hold on, let me put my flipping uh, anyways, man. <sighs> <laughs> All right. No worries, man. Where even was that? You're talking about Yarny Cloven and performing for the first time. All oh, right, yeah. So that was an experience. There was not that many people in the room, but yeah it was scary because i'd never done that before and obviously i have anxiety as well so being in that environment in general like it was okay until it was my turn to go up so i step up to the microphone and i i did two takes of my thing and the first one i messed up and then i was really my knees were kind of shaking as well <laughs> and i was really like you know bugging out and then I was like, can I, go, can I go again, please? Because I don't like that. And then I did it again. I kind of still fumbled. And um, I think the reason my anxiety set in when I did that was because the song I decided to perform, I'd made two days ago, the, the two days before. And the reason, I know, yeah, that's crazy. Why don't do a song that, you know, is already out and you already know the lyrics to. The reason I did that song was because it was really, it was, it was, it's a good song. I can't lie. I don't really big myself up that much, but that song was really good. And I'm glad I did it because it was a whole new sound, a whole new me. No one was going to, no one, when it comes out, no one's going to be expecting, you know, that sound. They're probably going to expect this, you know, this guy's probably going to sing some American song. I don't even care. You know, nah, this is a UK Joe type of thing that, that you're going to hear. And it's, yeah, it was pretty good. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this song, you know? And the nerves did set in. My anxiety did set in. But I think I might have handled it well. You might see my knees shake a little bit in the video, but yeah, you know why it's anxiety. And obviously with this Yanni clothing, I'm actually wearing the hoodie right now, but... Yep. But um, the only reason I did it and decided to go through with it was because Nick hit me up. Just Nick hit me up and he was like, yo do this 
great opportunity get yourself out there probably reach a new fan base so I was like you know what why not because I don't have anything to lose you know I've been sitting at the point where I'm at right now for a while it, it's not gonna hurt my career in any way so why not so big up to just Nick for giving me that opportunity and showing me that because if he hadn't then you know and the more I do these type of things you know less nerves I'll have hopefully so yeah that's amazing, man. That's amazing you took the opportunity. That's one thing that, you know, us as creatives need to realise, right? It's all the case of who you know, not what you know most of the time. Like, these connections are vital. Like, they really are. People taking advantage. And it's sick that you could you could see that because a lot of people, you know, the nerves, they would have been like, nah, man, it's, it's, nah, I'm not doing it because... You know, it's it's a, it's a scary situation, but you 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 went through it anyway, man. And was with obviously, you know, you saying you have anxiety, right? As someone who you know is a is a musician and who is hopefully gonna be performing in front of thousands of people one day, maybe even millions, right? How how do you think that's gonna that's gonna be something you're you know how how do you think you're gonna you're, you're gonna cope with that? Because I know anxiety is a a, a, a real thing man I've had friends in the past who've, who, who've had it and obviously with the industry you're going into you're probably gonna have to you know perform in front of people so is there a way you're sort of trying to cope with it at the moment or right now I don't really have a way to deal with with it you know it's just it's something I've had for a, a long time or I, I think I've had it all my life to be honest because I don't know this but when you have anxiety, sometimes you get like these these ticks, and they're, and they're called anxiety ticks. So when you, you know, like a person with Tourette's, they'll be like, you know, doing all of that. It happens as well with anxiety. Like sometimes I get these shivers down my spine, and sometimes it's really bad, and I just my whole body just jerks. And they, that's happened all my life, you know. Like, and only like I don't know, a couple of years ago, I found out I have, you know, I have anxiety. It's like really, it's quite bad, and um. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it because this this never used to happen. I used to perform, you know, I was in plays in year eight, year nine, and, year, and I think in year 10, I can't remember. But I was in plays. I used to perform uh, for music in like fe- like little school festivals. I used to do all of that. You know, I've sang by myself in front of the whole school before. Like, I don't know how this even happened because I was completely fine. If I had anxiety back then and I could perform, and now I, you know, I do and I can't, then I guess at some point, if I work on it, you know, time will tell, I'll get over that. But I feel like it, it's gonna come down to me being comfortable on stage, and you know, I don't know how to overcome anxiety. It's 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 quite a hard topic to talk about as well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you should talk about it. You know. It's can't just let all of that in. People mm. should know. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. Um, I only ask that question just because there may be someone out there who's watching this and they may have the same, they may be in the same situation. And you saying that could be a big help. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, you know, that, that's, that's, that's crazy that you did the, the, the Yarni performance anyway. And I wanted to talk about, you know, more so going into now collaborations because I know you know it seems like you've got a solid group you know as you said people you want to rise up with Seb, Ruben, um, who's Ruben by the way is he is he what was his artist name? His artist name is is Ruben it used oh. to be it used to be unknown subject I think oh okay his, his Instagram used to be unknown subject but now it's official Ruben Cool, awesome. But um, all of those people, you know, Nick, Ruben, Seb, Sebastian, all of these people, right? Um, how how have you found working with them and working with on your own? Because you know, we talked at the beginning about you know, you get those people who are like, you know, I'm going to do some of my own blah blah blah. Which sort of category do you think you you fit into as a creative? Do you think you're one of those people who has to sort of have a have a, a, a good group around you or do you think you can sort of do it on your own yeah this is actually just oh, this is such a good question i thought about this the other day there's like people um who uh they just do shit on their own but um i think that 
you sh- if you're a creative, if anyone out here is listening and they're a creative, surround yourself with people who boost you up and people who do what you do. You need to be surrounded with people that are trying to get to the same goal as you in order to succeed. That's the way I see it. Because if I'm, if I'm me and I'm surrounded by friends that don't support me, friends that uh, don't share anything when, when, you know, when it comes up, friends that aren't doing anything to better themselves in any way or have a grind, you know, then I'm not going to go anywhere. I have to have people around me who are doing something, are creative, you know, want to succeed, want to get somewhere, want to get big. And I feel like that is the key to um, getting getting somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure um, oh, TM and Remy, Henshaw, and uh, Tom did it. I'm pretty sure they're a tight group. And they're, they're, you know, they do everything together. You know, and they're on a rise right now. And they're going to do it together. Do you know what I mean? They're going to succeed. I, I'm... I am saying that right now, that group is going to go places, I'm telling you. So you surround yourself with people doing what you're doing. That is amazing. What have you noticed about them? What have you noticed about them which, you know, makes them different as to just being the, the local artist to being, you know, okay, these guys are legit, they're going places. What do you think it's about, you know, those those three, those, well, four actually people? Yeah, they're... I think it's just the fact that, like, They've, I'm pretty sure they've been friends for <clears throat> a few years now. I'm pretty sure they live in the same areas also. It's not only the fact that they're just, you know, they're doing what they're doing, you know, together. It's the fact that they've been doing it for time. Do you know what I mean? Like they've known each other for time. They're doing just madness. And I feel like, I think the longer you support each other for, the more likely you're going to succeed. So time will tell. I've, yeah, time will tell. That's the quote uh, of like this podcast. Time will tell. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that, that's sick. And, and, and in terms of like music, right? I know obviously, you know, you said you, you want to do features with everyone, but what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Like, is there anyone this year? I know obviously, you, you, you know, you may want to keep it to yourself because I know you've got some, 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 some top, some icy stuff coming up, but features wise, man, is there anyone that you're, you're wanting to hit up hmm see i haven't really thought about features that much i do know who i want to work with i don't i don't really think about it much because right now this year i'm really focused on just developing my sound but people i do want to work with and i am planning on working with panda not bamboo me and him are gonna work we've been in we've been talking about it uh me and remy remy saint uh, I have a song with him. I have a song with him out right now, and I have a song with him coming soon. I'm not sure when, but yeah, him. But like, other than those two, I've pretty much worked with everyone I really wanted to work with in my uh, deluxe album. But yeah, I don't really have anyone in mind right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just develop my son and then I'll give it some more thought amazing that's amazing man that is actually amazing and um bruv yeah it seems like it seems like you're you're really going in man like wh- when i when i when i saw those messages about you know you you uh you know promoting your songs and stuff i was like yeah nah you know you're, you're going after it man you're really you're really going after it man and um with that being said man time will tell i know you keep on saying that the future what are you saying man what are you saying what are your your goals for 2021 what are your goals for you know the the next coming weeks days what are you saying uh so i'm pretty sure next week the yarny clothing re- uh the, that thing sorry what's it called it was a re- freestyle. freestyle yeah yeah that's coming out i'm pretty sure next week so that's coming i uh, have a uh, music video Edited by Shot by C, who's an upcoming uh, uh, editor slash photographer. He just does a bunch of digital stuff. Um, and the, the concept for that is pretty cool. So that's coming soon. Um, but with releases, 
I want to release, I want to finally drop a song where people that, you know, the song that people aren't expecting to happen, you know, there's, there's going to be a few songs where it's like a, just a UK thing. And it's like, people aren't going to expect it because I've been doing that American thing for so long, for like two years now. When they see the, the complete switch up, they're going to be like, whoa, there's no water tune on this. There's like, this guy is going mad. Like, he's really trying to catch our attention on that. But yeah, I don't, there's not much this year. This year, my whole uh, thing was just flip the script, show people I'm not who I was a year ago two years ago when I started this, I'm a completely different person who's developed completely different, uh, you know, a, like a complete, completely different like style as well. And I'm very, I've become very versatile. I can pretty much, not every, I can't do everything, but I can do like, you know, most things, I guess, when it comes to a song. That is amazing. And I, yeah. That is and amazing. I have an, and I want to drop Oh yeah, one last thing. I want to drop, I wasn't going to drop an album or any mixtape of any sort, but on my birthday, I'm thinking of dropping an EP. Yeah, an EP. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Man. Nice. Bruv, well, man, this has been amazing, man. This has actually been great. And is there anything you want to say in closing um, to just about anything? Uh, can I shout some people out? No, go ahead, man. Come on. Uh, shout out, Ruben. This guy is legend. We've got a song coming soon. It's a com completely different style. This guy, when I found him, he was, I'll be honest, like, he was, like, not as good as he is now. He is really bossed up. He's completely changed up everything. So I'm excited for you lot to see that. Obviously, shout out just Nick, my guy. I uh, love this guy. I met him for the first time last week and he was, yeah. Well, really that's great. So what, you guys were just literally supporting each other over socials this whole time? Yeah, we were just online friends, met for the first time last week. That's mad. By the way, the second artist I've met in the scene right now. This is the second artist I've ever met. I've only met Panda and Just Nick. That's it. And I know like, I don't know, 30, 40 artists. And that's all I've met, bro. Uh, who else do I want to shout out? I don't want to leave anyone out, man. Obviously, shout out Seb. He doesn't really release, but that's still my guy. I have a friend who's going to be releasing music soon. And he might be my duo partner. I don't know. Oh, I just might have revealed something I wasn't supposed to. But yeah, shout out Dior. Um, oh, shout out CeeLo Burns. That's my boy. I'm trying, to, oh, I'm trying to remember people, man. Shout out Shot by C. Shot by C is, he's sick. Uh, he edits everything. He edits my uh, YouTube video, edited my music video, and he does my thumbnails and all of that. Um, shout out Rio Arts. She does my album covers. She draws them. Looks sick. And um, I don't want to forget anyone, man. I'm going to feel so bad if I forget someone. <laughs> Shout out to my best friend, Andre. <laughs> Shout out to him. Amazing. Uh, damn, if I missed anyone, I'm sorry. But you know, I got love for all of you if you're watching this. And yeah, man. Oh, shout out to you. you like bringing me on this. Like, this is the first time I've done a podcast. It's quite cool. Uh, no worries, man. And yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you. No worries, man. No worries. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you're creative yes. watching this, Message us Instagram. You know where we're at seventh tier. Link's gonna be in the description below. Make sure you cop our clothing. This is the knotted world hoodie right here. You can see my guy, um, Grace Santana's in the Yarni clothing. Yarni, we're coming for you. We're we're gonna do a little collab very soon. You know, I'm saying yes, it on the right now. But guys, literally, <laughs> this 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 podcast is clothing for creatives we're all about creatives so you know if you want to reach out if you want to come on here let us know hope you guys have enjoyed this make sure you subscribe we're trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year that's something that i've come just on. now but make sure you subscribe you know make sure you like you know we we, we 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 haven't been so consistent but we're really trying to you know stick to a schedule now so you'll be seeing podcasts like this every friday at 7 p.m and uh yeah guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day Thank you very much, the Grace and Tanner, for coming on. And um, 
make sure you shop seventh tier down below and we'll see you guys later peace